guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Great Bold Creations. I have a 14 by 14 uh, level one canvas, uh, still practicing um, some of the Kathleen swipes. I did that swoosh swipe the other day, the mermaid. I really liked it, but it was a challenge. Somehow, I don't know, how, why is it that the practice ones are so much easier than the real ones? Anyhow, I'm, I've got some leftover paints from that pour, so I am going to use them on this pour. So I'm going to flood my canvas with the, um, the base, which is a combination of black and cobalt blue. Or no, it's phthalo blue. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> oh my. All right, so looking forward to the Art Expo come November. Well, it wouldn't be a day here if I didn't have sirens, am I right? <laughs> oh well. I'm get, I've gotten used to them. I hope you guys do too. Kind of adds a little interest. To the pores, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this up. What a pretty shade. It dries almost black, but the effects it, it um, creates when you bring the lines down is really cool. So, speaking of almost black, now my hands are. <laughs> I just don't like gloves. I don't know what it is. All right, so but tonight we have golden fluid in teal, golden fluid in phthalo turquoise, golden fluid in iridescent gold, and golden fluid in iridescent um, pearl. So I am going to lay my colors down, and then I'm just gonna do a simple swipe so I do want to do another painting tonight. So I'm going to start with the turquoise and now I'm going to try and do, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, hold the phone, hold the phone. So the other night I almost um, lit these on fire and tonight I'm using some plastic ones. <laughs> A little safer otherwise you're gonna be hearing a lot of sirens here okay so I'm just gonna try and do a really tiny line that's too tiny there we go and then cobalt blue and then the pearl cobalt turquoise I should say it wasn't even cobalt turquoise. Oh, now look what I'm doing. Oh, phthalo turquoise. And then the gold. Paints are mixed with half GAC 800, half Floetrol. And I'm gonna do um, a quick swipe, um, like her original. Um, hopefully it works. I'm gonna grab some of this uh, blue and then just swipe it really quick. I know she goes really slow, but this, this particular one, it was really quick and it created some cool effects. Here we go. Well, we'll see. It looks like there's too much blue in there. And I've got my See how, what this looks like after. Uh... After I um, torch it. Looks like I need to put a little bit more pressure on it. There we go.
There we go. That's what I was looking for. I don't know if I can fix the rest or if I have to re-pour. You know, it might be easier for me to just do it like this. Are you guys in frame? No. Yeah, now you are. That's smoother. It's not looking the way that she did it. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. You know, I swiped that and I, t I totally missed what I was going for. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, we'll see. I always add more paint and do it again. Yeah, it was more pressure is what I needed. I don't know if I can do it now. It's too late. Oh, well, maybe not. All right, let's torch this bad boy and see if we're getting the effects we want. And if we don't, then we're gonna do it again. I already got the paint down. exactly what I was going for. All right, I'm gonna add a little flow trial to each and every one of these. Um, let's see if that makes a difference.
Now, Kathleen did not do this on hers. <laughs> She's the expert. Oh my gosh, this is really turning out pretty now. Happy accident. All right, I'm gonna bring it back up a little bit. Yeah, I had to get all that paint off. It would have never dried. Yeah, this is pretty now. I like it. It's called making lemonade out of lemons. God knows I've had a good share of my lemons in this journey, but I love it. You know, I mean, look at that now. It's gorgeous. I'm happy. Happy camper, yay. Dirty fingers. Now what I'm gonna do, looks like there's a little schmooge up there. Something, it's a little something, something. All right, I'm gonna torch it and that's it, guys, this is done done and I don't even mind that that corner is uh, empty nice all right I'm gonna call it let me torch this see if anything else comes up See, now this is kind of bugging me. I wonder, I wonder if I can really mess up my painting now. Just take what's on here. Go like this. That's better. Okay. All right. Where? I like it. I have to tilt this down now. Yeah, there's still a lot of paint on here. I'm actually tilting it over to that corner. Cover that corner up and bring it back. This would be really pretty with some TLP pigments. Now oh, it's crooked. I 
saw a little curve on the end there I didn't like. All right, I gotta stop soon. Not horrible, kind of cool. There's some kind of schmutz in there. All right, that's it, that's all. I'll let it dry, see what it looks like. This is on a practice canvas, so I'm not crying. Oh shit, shoot. I almost whipped that popsicle stick right into it. Stop, stop. Looks like blue flames. Yep. All right. Put those aside. Still have some extra paint left over. I'll show you up close and personal. This is looking too boring for me. So, I have to do it. of um, it's gonna be more like a well, I like that already yeah it's just too boring
my god, you guys must be tired of hearing me say, okay, that's enough, I'm done. Okay, that's enough, that's it, that's all. <coughs> I'm going to, this is much less boring than what I had, I'm liking it. Gail Burstyn does these uh, swipes and uh, she is absolutely phenomenal at them. You must check out her channel, I'll link it. Link it. Oh yeah, look at it grow. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. That's what I say. That's what I'm saying. All right, that's enough. That's it, that's all. I'll bring it down for a close up. All right, guys. Wow, what a difference. Um, yeah, those high flow um, iridescents are spectacular. I think I'm gonna call this sea feathers. They look like feathers in the sea. Too cool. And they might grow yet too. But I'm really super happy I did this. And how the colors are kind of blending, really cool. I think you can get the same effect by mixing like TLP piggies with the, um, the um, pour, their pouring medium and it'll create the same type of effects. I'll have to try that out next. Always trying new things. Wow, look at that. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Such a child. No, I'm not. Anyhow, um, well, I guess I'm playing back here, so I am. Um, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.